Hello and welcome to First Coast Living. I'm Jordan Wilkerson. All fired up. Mike Prangley here. And it's going to be a busy weekend. Uh -huh. Hopefully you're planning to have some fun. We've got the Jags game, of course, Porkapalooza and the St. Augustine Film Festival, just to name a few. In fact, let's talk about that St. Augustine Film Festival because we've got an appearance by a Hollywood star. I'm calling her Karen Allen. I think you may know her from the Sandlot, Scrooge, Indiana Jones and so on. There's so many movies she's done and her role in Indiana Jones is the one that she favored. Well, I just, you know, well, I loved the character as she was written. I mean, it was a beautifully written role. And, you know, we her introduction in and of itself is fantastic. We meet her, you know, drinking a 400 pounds man under the table for money. And, and um, you know, and then this long lost love of hers in the guise of Indiana Jones comes in and uh, she clocks him one in the jaw. And it was just a, a great way to introduce a character. She was running a bar in Nepal. She spoke Nepalese. She was, uh, you know, ordering people about. So it was it was a fun, dynamic um, uh, character to begin with. You know, I just at every turn I could, if there was, you know, if they were pushing into damsel in distress, uh -huh. you know, in the script here or there, I was always sort of fighting. For, you know, to keep her as strong as the character that we were introduced to in the beginning, uh, as opposed to, you know, making it a, you know, more kind of something we had, you know, seen before. And you debuted, of course, in one of the iconic films of the 70s. We have National Lampoon's Animal House, and you got to work with some more wonderful people. So John Landis and uh, the incredible cast that included John Belushi. Yeah, yeah. It was my very first film. I had I'd come out of the theater, but I'd never done a, a film before. You know, I mean, very few people make their first film and have it be as successful as Animal House was. It was, you know, considered a huge success and I think has gone on to be one of the top 10 comedies ever made or something. Um, so, you know, that kind of success and attention on a film always is very helpful to kind of get get you started, get you known, you know, as an, an actor that people want to meet with. Let's get to the new film. It's called A Stage of Twilight. Can you give us a little preview? Yeah, it's about, um, it, it's based on a play that I started working on about seven years ago with a playwright, and we developed it together with another actor um, over many years we did workshops of it we did a lot of different readings of it and we were going to put it on stage and then COVID hit and she, the playwright sat down and wrote it as a film and she had already directed one film and um, decided she wanted to do it as a film and so uh, it's about a couple who've been together for 45 years um, they're still very much in love with each other, but he's having health issues. They've tried pretty much everything to save his life. And um, uh, he's told finally that he has a very short time to live and he makes a tough decision, which is a decision my character would never have expected him to make, which is that he doesn't, he, he wants to die alone. He doesn't want to be taken care of by me. He doesn't want to stay in the home. He doesn't want to put me through his death or the dissipation that's certain to happen. Mm -hmm. And um, I'm, my character is shocked by this and uh, it's everything she doesn't want to happen. She wants to be there for him. She wants to take care of him. She right. wants to, you know, be there with him to his last breath. And um, uh, that is not what he wants. And so it's a, it, it, you know, it creates a very difficult and interesting conversation about really, it's like, whose death is it? Uh, you know, who makes those decisions? And do we have obligations when we die to the people we love and who love us? And, and um, um, so it's, a, it's very interesting. I don't think anything like this has ever been put on film before in terms of the topic, specific topic. And, and um, it creates a lot of very interesting conversations after the film. Yeah, you know, it's a good film when you're talking about it and definitely get those conversations going. So Karen, I really appreciate being with us here on First Coast Living and make sure to check out, okay, A Stage of Twilight, St. Augustine Film Festival with the one and only Karen Allen. We really appreciate you. Oh, thank you so much. Okay, and of course you can check out this segment once again, just head to our website, firstcoastliving.net.